All right, before we hop into the video today, just a quick thank you to our sponsor, Sports TNB. Hey, if you play 2K, you know the grind is real. The badge grind can get tough, so if you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and everything like that, um, visit SportsTNB.com. Make sure to let him know Hayden YT sent you, and he'll get you everything you need. He's legit. First link in the description down below. Go check it out. Alright, what's going on YouTube? Paid near today we're back with another brand new video. And I meant to make this video a couple days ago, but you know, the whole YouTube situation happened with my channel and stuff, so I just been kinda done with that. It's annoying, but time to move past that and move on with this channel. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Today we have a video about Austin Kirksey. Austin is a six foot three, two hundred five pound former Walton quarterback. While at Walton in his junior and senior seasons, um, he was a two-time first-team all-region selection where he threw for 4,732 yards, 36 touchdowns. And adding along with those, he had 809 rushing yards and 15 rushing touchdowns in his junior and senior seasons combined. He nearly eclipsed the 5,000-yard mark and he had 54 career touchdowns while at Walton High School. And Austin, he's actually... Currently on the Nevada football team, but he's planning to transfer from Nevada and come back to the state of Georgia. And he plans to be a preferred walk-on at UGA. An interesting thing here is since he came from Walton, he was actually the quarterback for Dominic Blaylock, who is now a freshman receiver for Georgia. So yeah, that's that's a cool little thing right there. Many of his touchdown passes that he threw were to Dominic Blaylock while he was at Walton. Going back around a time where Austin would have been getting recruited, he was... A three-star who was ranked as the 59th pro-style quarterback. And while he was at Nevada in his freshman year, he hasn't gotten any game time this season. So that means that he would be coming to UGA as a redshirt freshman. And he would still have all four years of eligibility left. To me, this is a pretty big pickup for Georgia because the depth chart at quarterback could get pretty slim. Especially if Jake Fromm heads off to the NFL draft. And with the uncertainty around Juwan Mathis and his health for next season. Georgia could possibly go in the next year with Stetson Bennett, who will be returning. Um, Carson Beck, who still isn't officially signed. He's a, com he's a hard commit, but not officially signed or anything. And it would be Austin Kirksey. And they also have heavy consideration for CJ Stroud, who has taken an unofficial visit this weekend to Athens. So we'll see about that one. And even getting CJ Stroud is going to be a tough, a tough one for the dogs because he's the top rated a uh, quarterback who still hasn't been signed yet. There's a lot of competition around him. A lot of schools are interested in him, so that one will be a tough one to pull. But if we can get him, it'll be a big pickup. He's a four-star quarterback, so yeah, that would be, be a nice pickup for Georgia if they can get C.J. Stroud. But either way, even if Jake stays for his final year of eligibility, after he's gone, the quarterback room is wide open, and it would be a pretty fun quarterback battle between probably three or four guys who haven't really proven themselves in college. They'll all be like freshmen and sophomores. It could be a pretty fun quarterback battle whenever Jake whenever Jake heads off to the NFL. Um, the Nevada coach stated that Austin is uh, he's really close with his family, so that was a big reason of why he wanted to come back to Georgia. And you got to think, too. I mean, being 18, 19 years old, going across the country from Georgia to Nevada, it's got to be a pretty tough task. And even more tough when you're like actually really close to your family, so you really don't get much time to... You can't just travel back and forth from Nevada to Georgia, especially playing football year-round. So, yeah, moving back to Georgia is probably going to be a big a big thing for Austin. But yeah, that's all I really want to touch on. I just want to make a quick update video on the situation. Like I said, I meant to, meant to make this a couple of days ago, but just not getting around to it today. But it is glad to see that the, the, the quarterback depth chart for Georgia it gets a little bit more filled. Like I said, kind of, we really don't know what's going to happen with Jake Fromm. He could go to the draft. He might not go to the draft. So it's nice to see some people filling up the depth chart, and especially a guy who has ties to a receiver on the team currently. So that could be something that helps in spring ball, helping Dominic get, get ready for next season, having a guy who actually knows and has played with him before. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like as it was really help out the channel and help me get recommended to new people. Comment down below to tell me what you think about the video and about the Austin Kirsty situation, about our quarterback situation. Just let me know down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed and haven't done so yet, make sure to make sure to hit the red subscribe button and click the bell to know every time I post a video. That said, it's been Hayden. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.